Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 6 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Pete and Ted. Now this is going to be important here. So it's on Monday, so this is all happening at the same time. Pete and Ted. So we have to combine those two. Pete and Ted together completed a total of seven-tenths of their project, and then Pete completed three-tenths of that project, which means how much did Ted complete? All right, so that seems pretty simple, and we have a nice diagram here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths. All right, so we get, we don't even have to draw our own picture. We can use the picture, the diagram that they've given us here. So let's see if we can mark out seven tenths because what I want to do is I want to see first get my total. So what we have here. Let's just go ahead and make a strip diagram to make sure we understand. See this total right here? Well, we know where a total goes in a part, part, whole total goes up at the top. And so that's the whole. So we have one part, which is going to be 3 tenths. That's Pete. Really what we're looking for is how much did Ted complete. That's our question mark. So that lets me know we're going to have to subtract the two because that's the relationship we see. So let's see if we can mark this out here. I'm going to just draw outline. And we'll get all the way up here to our 7 tenths, and I'm going to mark that 7 tenths, and I'll just do a little Pete and Ted. They're working together here. And so we're looking at Pete now. Pete is going to complete 3 tenths of the project, and so I'm just going to draw some lines here. So while the whole thing is Pete and Ted, this part right here, that's going to be Pete, which means, you see this blank, I've got this blank right here. This blank, I guess, needs to be Ted. Because if you put Pete and Ted together, you should get 7 tenths. Pete here has 3 tenths. So just using this picture, it is going to be pretty obvious that Ted's got one, two, three, four tenths left. So if Pete's got three tenths, Ted's got four tenths. And it looks like we've got our answers. We see it down there at F. How can we do this without a picture, though? Because pretty soon, when we get to fifth grade, we're not going to have a picture. and We're not even going to have equal denominators. So let's set it up. It's a basic subtraction problem. Seven tenths minus Three tenths. So there's two things you need to remember when we are adding or subtracting fractions. Number one, you must, must, must have equal denominators. So they are both 10. That's a check. Sometimes you might get one half minus one fourth or three fifths minus one third. If you do not have equal denominators, you need to stop right there. You need to change one or both into equivalent fractions so that the denominators match. But we do have equal denominators. But here's the tricky part right here. You don't touch the denominators. Once you have them equal, you don't touch them, you don't change them. You don't add them, you don't subtract them. You subtract straight across, 7 minus 3, that makes 4. And then 10 minus 10, you don't touch it, it just remains 10 because I've got 4 tenths left, and that makes sense. Well, what would happen if you did subtract 7 tenths minus 3 tenths, if you just subtract it all the way across? 4, 10 minus 10 is 0. Well, that doesn't make any sense, because you don't have 4 zeros. You can't have 4 zeros. And you can see from our picture here, we actually have 4 tenths. So adding and subtracting fractions is a little bit tricky. You need to have equal denominators, and then whenever you add or subtract, you don't touch the denominators, you only touch the numerators, and our answer here is going to be F.